Springtime is not only the season of exquisite flowers like this peony, but it's also the season for shincha, or seasonal new tea. My favorite Japanese tea house, Ippodo, nearly 300 years old, opened its New York shop a year ago on the ground floor of Kajitsu restaurant. It's a luxury that no other city in the world outside of Japan currently has, as the New York store is the first international location for the Kyoto Tea House. Ippodo has brought its high quality green teas and its traditions to our city, and it occasionally offers tea workshops, teaching the intricacies, differences, and grades of green teas, including the powdered matcha, with its bitter taste and rich tradition and tea ceremony. There are four different types of green tea matcha, gyokuro, sencha, and bancha. The teas differ in the ways they are cultivated, from less sun exposure to more. If you like green tea for that extremely fresh, sharp vegetal taste, you will prefer sencha and bancha. Bancha or yanagi is the most astringent and the easiest to drink. Sencha has more body and gyokuro has the most body. The proper brewing of tea can bring out the best of its aroma by balancing the amount of tea leaves, the water temperature, and the brew time. Pour hot water into a cup and let it cool down just until it's no longer steaming. In the meantime, put the tea leaves into the teapot according to the instructions. Then, pour the warm water into the pot. By keeping your hand on the lid, you can feel the teapot warming up. Let the leaves steep for one minute, then the first pour is ready. You want to get every last drop into the cup. Steeping is not necessary for the second and subsequent pours of both cold and hot tea because the tea leaves will have already unraveled and released their aroma. Simply pour water directly into the teapot and then pour the tea immediately into the teacup. Japanese green tea is a beautiful tradition and also a refreshing everyday drink that goes with meals, sweets, and snacks.